Hi there, well this is the final video of the uh, Farm Boy Hit Miss Engine build and um, it's been a fantastic project to undertake. There's been loads and loads of firsts for me. Um, first time I've ever uh, made any gears, uh, first time I've made any springs, uh, first time I've made a governor, uh, first time I've ever done between centre boring uh, for the cylinder. Um, First time I've made valves and guides. Um, first, my very first engine using ignition, and indeed my very first hit and miss engine as well. So I must thank everybody for the sort of help and support and advice that uh, got me through it all. Uh, it really is very much appreciated. Uh, but like I say, it's been an awesome project to uh, to do. It's been really, really enjoyable and challenging. Um, but before I show you the completed engine, I'll just give you a quick update on the uh, fuel tank that I did in my last video. Now in my previous video, when I machined the uh, fuel tank, um, I got quite a few comments about my method of sealing the glass. And what I did initially was I, I put a seal in there, I put a glass on top, and then I sort of bolted the cover on and that broke the glass so my, my other thought was well I'll do it the other way around I'll put the glass in there and I'll put the seal on top um, but people have quite correctly pointed out that that wouldn't produce a very good seal so uh, one of the su suggestions was to increase the depth of the recess which I've just done and now I'm a, I can accommodate an o-ring the glass and part of the other o-ring and I've made the recess just slightly shallower than the uh, width of the three components put together and uh, one thing I, I also did was I was using in my previous video um, o-rings made out of uh, EPDM whatever that is and uh, I've replaced those with Viton which are a lot better with the uh, Coleman fuel that I'm using and for those who've got ultra high definition devices, this is my first 4K video.
580 to 700. Well, I must say, uh, I, th I think that sunshine has certainly highlighted some imperfections in my uh, ability to polish aluminium. Uh, so I, th I think I need to revisit that. Um, but apart from that, I, th I think the engine runs really, really well. I'm ever so pleased with it. And I can't believe how well it um, sort of um, uh, free wheels be between cycles. Um, I, it's just, I can't get my head around it, to be honest. And. Uh, I must thank Olivia in France, uh, he very kindly uh, uh, offered to make me some name plates and uh, he made me loads. Um, obviously you've, you've seen some of them on the engine and they look fantastic and uh, you know these are some others he made me. Obviously I've not used those but uh, really, really good quality. So uh, thanks again uh, Olivia, really appreciate that. Now, um, I think my next engine is going to have to be a hit and miss because um, I think I'm a bit hooked on them now. Um, actually making, you know, your first inter internal combustion engine. Um, I just, there's so much to it um, that it sort of seems to be a real, real challenge. So my next um, hit and miss engine is going to be, I think, one uh, based on a design by Philip Duclos, I think that's how you pronounce his surname, um, based in the, well it was based in the United States, sadly uh, passed away now, uh, but uh, I'll probably start that round about the end of March, uh, unless uh, plans change. So uh, anyway, I hope you like the result and uh, I hope to see you later.